What is going on YouTube? It is the Big K Cop 360 here and boys, AMD fixed the big issue. The big issue that caused so much controversy with this card. The PCI Express power consumption, power draw issue now. Just to let you guys know, uh, I'll give you a bit of background. Essentially, the card was pulling too much power out of the PCI Express slot. I'm not talking about the 6 pin, I'm talking about the literal like um like the slot that you put the card in um essentially that slot allows a maximum of 75 watts to be pulled out of it safely like that is the recommendation and anything higher than that puts the entire board in danger now there were some isolated incidents of boards actually dying or not dying but pci express slot uh, slots being killed and whatnot. Um, no one's actually 100% sure if it's legitimate. However, Science Studio did do a video on a very old AM2 motherboard and the PCI Express slot, like the entire motherboard shut down, like the computer turned off. But when you put another GPU in the same PCI Express slot, it worked fine. So um, the worst confirmed thing that we had to happen was a computer turning off now um some people say the slots burned out and all this other shit but anyway look i'm just gonna get to the point this is pretty much what the entire issue was as you can see out of that slot it was drawing like a maximum of 155 watts just out of that slot that's double what is um actually recommended and what's the actual limit so it was obviously problematic and we had these spikes and whatnot that caused so much controversy blah 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 long story short amd came up and fixed it um the new 16.7.1 beta crimson drivers essentially fixed this they added this thing called compatibility mode um which essentially uh okay i'm not going to get into compatibility mode yet just let me just let me continue uh, 16.7.1 essentially fixes everything. Now, what they essentially did was um, they made the car draw less power from the PCI Express slot and draw more power from the 6 pin. Because, as you guys know, the 6 pin, although it's rated to give out 75 watts of power, it can handle, I believe someone uh, said, up to 300 watts. Don't quote me on that. I'll try to provide a citation. But the 6 pin can draw a lot more power than the PCI Express slot on the main board. So, yeah, so that was a very good call by AMD. As you can see, the red is the old drivers, blue is with compatibility mode off, and green is with compatibility mode on. As you can see, um, from the 6 pin on red, it's at 79 watts, and then with the update, the updated driver, sorry, more power is being drawn out of there, which is very, very good. And then um, on the actual motherboard, before it was at 82, that was like the average. But now the average has gone down to 72 with compatibility mode off and compatibility mode on at 68 watts. I'm saying compatibility really weirdly. I do not know why, but let's just continue on. Uh, continuing on, as you can see, uh, the voltages are looking a lot better. The average is actually at around, what, 68 or 69 watts now. Uh, coming from that peg slot. The peg is the PCI Express slot. So that's very nice to see. There's no um, no more spiking up to 150 watts. It's nice and consistent. This is what you see with regular GPUs. Now, to give you guys some perspective, let's just go back and take a look at what it looked like before. Um, I believe this is it. This is like as good as the photo as you guys will get. As you can see, it spiked a lot more. That is not very good. And it's clearly... Clearly been fixed here. That red line is very, very good. I'm very, very happy. Um, as you can see, uh, overall the card draws what three watts more. That's kind of within the margin of error, but clearly, um, when compa compatibility mode, sorry, is on, it only draws 159 watts, and essentially you get a slight performance decrease when you turn on compatibility mode. So you don't really need to run it, but if you're really that worried, you can. But essentially, with compatibility mode off and with this new driver, the card um, will not draw more than 75 watts out of that PCI Express slot. I mean, it will add occasion, but that's what a lot of GPUs already do. And it's not spiking up to 150. This right here, this is fine. And um, oh, it, it's funny that AMD did this because we had people, uh, I think, I believe Jay's Two Cents thought that uh, it wasn't fixable by drives and it was a complete hardware issue and he was a little salty when he found out that it was fixed but like you know he said that he's not a genius he's not like um, a hardware expert so he can't really confirm but 
yeah, people are kind of giving him a little bit of shit for that. Like, who cares? Like, as long as the issue is fixed, it should be good. This should be a good competitor to the GTX 1060. Can't wait for the 1060 to come out. It's great to see, however, that AMD has fixed this. I'm really, really happy. Um, as you can see, clearly with compatibility mode on, less power is drawn. Um, when it's off, it's kind of similar, or a little bit higher, but yeah, it's pretty much the gist of it, guys. So, your motherboards are now definitely safe. We should not have any frying motherboards, and it's good to see MD did this. Now, talking about the performance of the uh, RX 480, yes, I mean, this card was subject to a lot of hype. People were saying, oh, it's going to perform like a 980, going to outperform a 980. The performance is all over the place. I believe we still need drivers to mature. Sometimes it beats a 980 and the 390X, and it's close to the Fury Nano, um, but that's mainly like linked to DirectX 12 games. Um, like in Hitman, that performs really, really well. Not just because it's an AMD card, but even against like the 390X and whatnot. But yeah, I don't really know. We're just going to have to wait and see. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I was just providing this update. I really can't wait for the 1060 to really compete with this card. And NVIDIA, sorry, has hyped up that 1060. And I will be doing a video on it sometime soon. But for now, I'm going away. Going to ride some dirt bikes. I'll be back in like four days. I'll try and do like a mobile phone video on the 1060. I really don't know. That's not very professional. But yeah, there's not much I can really do. So yeah, generally, there's more... Um, Oh, fuck. Anyway, guys, look, screw it. I'm done. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go. See you guys later.